the causes and conditions involved in such past efforts of mine are such that, even if one spoke of them for an ocean of kalpas as numerous as the atoms in an ineffable, ineffable number of Buddha chestras, one would still never finish describing them even then. Therefore, son of good family, it is through the power of such path-assisting dharmas, the power of such roots of goodness, the power of such great determination, the power of such cultivation of meritorious qualities, the power of such reality accordant contemplation of all dharmas, the power of such a wisdom eye, the power of such awesome spiritual powers of the Buddha, the power of such great kindness and compassion, the power power of such purified spiritual super-knowledges and the power of such good spiritual guides. It is because of all these powers that I have acquired this ultimately pure Dharma body that is the same in all three periods of time and that I have also acquired this pure and unexcelled form body that surpasses all others in the world that, adapting to whatever pleases beings' minds, manifests forms for their sakes, that enters all shastras and appears everywhere, and that extensively manifests spiritual super-knowledges in all world systems, causing all who witness them to be delighted. Son of good family, now contemplate a form body such as mine. This form body of mine has been perfected over an ocean of boundlessly many kalpas of practice. It is rarely ever seen or heard of, even in countless thousands of kotis of neutas of kalpas. Son of good family, if there are beings who have not yet planted roots of goodness, or if there are shravaka disciples or bodhisattvas who have planted only a minor measure of roots of goodness, they would not even be able to hear my name, how much less would they be able to see my body? Son of good family, there are some beings who, by being able to hear my name, then become irreversible in progressing toward Anutra Samyak Sambodhi. So too are those who accomplish this by merely seeing me, touching me, welcoming me, escorting me off briefly following along after me, or merely seeing or hearing me in a dream. Some beings are able to become fully ripened by remaining mindful of me for but one day or one night. Others are able to become fully ripened by remaining mindful of me for seven days and seven nights, for a half month, for a month, for a half year, for a year, for a hundred years, a thousand years, a kalpa. A hundred kalpas, or for kalpas as numerous as the atoms in an ineffable, ineffable number of Buddha shastras. Others may require one lifetime, or a hundred lifetimes, or even up to lifetimes as numerous as the atoms in an ineffable, ineffable number of Buddha shastras before they will become fully ripened. Still others will become fully ripened by seeing me emanating brilliant light by seeing me cause a Buddha Shastra to shake or move, or by being frightened or filled with joyous delight by such phenomena. Son of good family, I use skillful means such as these that are as numerous as the atoms in a Buddha Shastra to enable beings to become irreversible in progressing toward Anutra Samyak Sambodhi. Son of good family, if any being sees or hears of my pure Shastra, he will certainly be able to be reborn in this pure Shastra. If any being sees or hears of my pure body, he will certainly be able to be reborn within my pure body. Son of good family, you should contemplate this pure body of mine. 